Hi, this is Scott Bacaric with Verde Real Estate Group with today's home buyer tip. You know, a question I get all the time is, hey, Scott, I am thinking about buying a house. Is there any way I can save some money either on my payment or the amount of money I need to bring to closing? And the answer is absolutely. Today, I'm going to go over three tips that basically cost you nothing in an effort to save money on your home purchase. Number one, most importantly, is raising your credit score. Now, Credit score can have a dramatic effect not only on the amount of your payment in terms of like higher rates, uh, it can also make a difference on what loan programs you qualify for. If you have a credit score in uh, that's 500 versus someone who has a 750 credit score, it'll have a dramatic impact on what options are available to you and what the rate will be. You see, mortgage rates are what you call risk-based pricing. And the lower your credit score, the more debt you carry can have a dramatic impact on what rate you're going to get when you purchase. So to, be, uh, to, to illustrate this, I did two examples. Uh, one is somebody who, is, who has got a credit score of 750. The second is a person who has a credit score of 625. Notice they're both applying for a loan amount of $200,000. The difference in rate can be as much as half a percentage point between the 625 and the 750. Now, again, this is for illustrative purposes only. Your specific situation will need to be analyzed by a mortgage professional. If you notice, so in this case, the 625 score has a payment that is $57 more per month. This is just principal and interest. Uh, if you look at the $57 per month, that comes out to $700 a year or $3,500 over five years, or most dramatically, $20,000 over the life of the loan. Now you say, okay, well, I have a 625 credit score. What can I do? Great question. One thing you can do is you can look at your credit card payments and figure out, or your credit card balances more accurately, and say, okay, how do I get my ratios down? You see, the amount of debt you have available versus the amount of debt you've used can reduce your credit score dramatically. So what you want to do is you want to get your balances paid down to 10 to 30% of what's available. Now, if you say, I don't have the money to do that, you can ask your credit card company to increase your available limits. Now, that isn't a license to go out and spend, but it can give you a better ratio and help bring your credit score down. The other thing is make your payments on time. Uh, and then also, if you see that there are errors on your credit report, you can challenge those and get those come off. Say you had a missed payment or some other defect on your credit report, removing that can have a dramatic increase. Again, get coaching on that because if you had a collection account that's legitimate, sometimes paying that off can reduce your score because it'll show back up as no longer dormant. Uh, a second thing you can do to save money, thousands of dollars literally on the purchase, is you can get a seller to pay your closing costs. Understand there's fees involved in purchasing a home. The lender's going to have fees. The title company's going to have fees. You're going to have insurance. And your broker that you're working with might have like a broker admin fee. You can ask the seller generally to pay between 3 and 6% of the purchase price towards your closing costs. Again, meet with your lender. Find out. They can give you an estimate of what the funds you're going to need to bring to closing and help guide you and your agent in that process. And then finally, the last tip I have for you, and this costs really nothing, is to shop lenders. You see, lenders have different pricing based on their in-house risk, meaning that there are times a year where a lender may have a disproportionate amount of their portfolio in a certain line of lending products, and they're not going to price it as well because they want to encourage uh, people to buy other products that they have. Some lenders, they may have ratios that are low, so they're going to give better rates to try to get more people to take out financing with them. So this gets a little complicated, but trust me, meet with two or three lenders and you're going to have a really good idea about the differences that exist, not only in rates, but the products available. Again, I'm Scott Bakarik with Verde Real Estate Group. I hope this information has been valuable. If you want to reach out to me directly via phone or text, my number is 612-600-8888. Again, 612-600-8888 or online at Verde dash realestate.com. If there's any way I could be of service, please let me know. Thank you.